according to my Gaia map, this is the actual trailhead. Third time's a charm. Long story, but I finally made it. It's a nice, easy, flat trail. Temperatures are comfortable. I wouldn't say it's peak foliage here, but there's plenty of color. Enough color to really make it interesting. It's maybe half peak, two thirds. Hard to say, there's still a lot of green, but there is a lot of color also. <clears throat> so. Here's a trail junction which I almost went by because I wasn't paying attention. Let's see what it is. Well, here's some sort of blaze. Not sure what trail I'm on. There's a lot of trail junctions here that go off in different directions. And uh, the Gaia app doesn't show any of them. So, this is a tricky trail. But apparently, WB, don't know what that means. So, there's a bunch of brush against this, which seems to indicate that that's not the way to go. But this is the actual trail. So we'll take it and we'll find out.
first real viewpoint. I know everything looks tiny on the camera, but it's beautiful. Wish it was a little sunnier. Last time I was up here, it was about the same conditions. A lot of clouds blocking the sun. I think if we had a little sunshine, some of this foliage would pop. It would be awesome. But it's not to be today, I guess. So it looks like I'm on a different trail now. All the way up I've been on the Italian trail, which was blazed red and green. And now I'm on a blue blaze trail, which I believe goes to the top of snout, black snout. Yes, blaze. Wow, beautiful overlook. So, I don't think it's anywhere near peak foliage up here, unless it all got knocked down by the rain. Still seems to be a lot of green. Of course, maybe it's all the hardwoods to the last turn. Maybe all the uh, maples have uh, shed the leaves, but it sure is beautiful. Onward and upward. That looked a little ominous. Hopefully it's just passing. Over here. Wow, it's just beautiful. Not sure what that little lake is down there. We'll find out. Just gorgeous. Hey, some nice color over there. There's black snout, it's a ways off, and then straw behind it. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. Beautiful. The black snout looks pretty imposing, but we'll tackle it and see how it goes. Just took a short break to uh, fuel up, get some food, get some water in me, some electrolytes, getting ready for the uh, final push up the black snout. It's gonna be awesome. This climb up the black snout is no joke. This is what I just came up. And that's where we're going, straight up. 
you can't really tell from the perspective of the GoPro, but it's pretty damn steep. But we're getting close to the top, so I think we almost got it licked. I guess this is the black snout. Made it to the top. That was quite the climb. And over this way, we've got Shaw. I'll decide in a minute if we're gonna go there. This is the black snout. this day. Now I just have to figure out uh, how to get over to Shaw. There's a trail here. I don't know where it goes. See, follow it around and see where it goes. This is my kind of trail. This is a big long switchback going up to the top of Shaw. Pretty, well, it's not flat because it is ascending, but uh, I can really make some time on this. Loving it. And I just passed a couple that said there's amazing views from the top of Shaw. So as you can see, Washington today. So really looking forward to getting up there. See you at the top. What an amazing view. I'm sure the GoPro is not doing it justice. Washington. I don't know all these peaks. I know that's past Conway and Whiteface. I'll be the Tri Pyramids. Anconia Ridge is off in the distance. So I almost bailed on coming over to Shaw from the Black Snout, and I'm so glad that I came over because the view up here is absolutely phenomenal. I'm sure you can't really tell with the GoPro, it doesn't do it justice, but uh, man, is it beautiful up here. What an amazing view. You can see a good portion of the White Mountain National Forest, Presidentials, Pass Conway Whiteface, uh, Jakora. It's just phenomenal. So glad I made the trip.